discussion, there will be small icons that you will find in the upper part of the presentation. Those are indications that our activities, tasks, and discussions are guided by the multiple intelligences. Welcome to the second week of our bridging program in music. This lesson will guide you in understanding the concept of timbre. As we all know, sounds are everywhere. Our ability to recognize and understand sounds will help us a lot in music in our life. That's why, at the end of this video, you are expected to identify the different quality of sounds. Let's start with listening activity, entitled, Who is Who? Family Edition. You will hear voices that is belong to the father, the mother, the sister, and the brother. All of them will be saying the same word hello, so you must listen carefully as you hear them speak. Let's start. Hello. Did you catch that? Let's listen again. Hello. Can you tell me whose voice does it belong to? That's right, it belongs to the mother. Now let's listen to the next voice. Hello. Hello. Did you hear that? Let's listen again. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me whose voice does it belong to? That's right. It belongs to the brother. Now let's listen to the third voice. Hello. Let's listen again. Hello. Can you tell me whose voice does it belong to? Correct! That belongs to the father. Let's listen to the last voice. Hello. Let's hear it again. Hello. Can you tell me whose voice does it belong to? You got it right. It belongs to the sister. Wow! Congratulations! You guessed each of their voices correctly. That's nice. But how did you do that? Each sound has its own characteristics and quality. It is called timbre. It helps us to recognize differences between sounds. How is timbre related to music? Part of getting the most and listening to music involves being able to hear as well as being able to identify voices and instrument by their tone color or timbre. Take note that they mean the same thing. It describes the unique quality of instrument or voice. Like in art, if each instrument has a unique color, then one can achieve even more colors by blending and mixing them together, just like a painter does. It will produce a beautiful art. Likewise, in music, it will produce a beautiful sound. As an illustration of tone color or timbre, let's listen to the two instruments playing the same melody, violin. Trumpet Notice that the instruments are playing the same passage, but the tone colors or timbre were different. If you mix them together, it will produce its own unique timbre. Let's listen. Knowing those facts, why do you need to know the quality of each sound?
Aside from using thumber in music, we can also use it in expressing our different emotion when we speak or communicate. It also helps you to recognize emotion of other people, letting you understand their feelings and enables you to interact well with each other. To deepen your understanding about the lesson, check out the learning package I prepared for you. That's it for today. See you soon. Bye!